Nasties. Going down in about two minutes. Stand by. Tell the truth and shame the devil. So what, 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 what more are you going to say now when we do tend the hard way or tend the stew way and you you already shot your load on the Falcons? I didn't shoot my load. <laughs> I have multiple loads to, to talk about, not to shoot. That 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 wasn't cool. That wasn't cool. That well, wasn't cool. Well, no, but, but you, that wasn't cool. And now you see you got people, everybody in no, the studio no, shaking guys, their head. No, we're like, not starting like you this. You just crossed the guys, line. I apologize. And you are a habitual no, line I'm stepper. Not, I'm You're not, a habitual line stepper. And then just now. Sir, that was an accident. I mean, you did that. Stupendous Saturday to you, Doug Stewart, Ron Stewart, the two lives, two, 640 WGS. Yeah. Good morning, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Good morning, sir. Yeah. Good morning to you, Douglas. Good morning to everyone listening. Yeah. Good morning to my man, Bruce Hagen, the people's lawyer. I know he is listening. 404-522-7553. Personal injury is all that Bruce does. Good morning. Yeah, Hagen-Law.com. Did you say good morning to Waterhead? Uh, good morning, Keghead. It's not, it's not Keghead, man. What do you mean? It's Waterhead. And really, he doesn't have a Waterhead. He doesn't have a Keghead or anything like that. The only reason I started calling him that... You know, a little alliteration, that's all. Uh, it is the Chill Out Stews, man, WGSC 640. You get it? Waterhead, Walter, alliteration. Well, real quick. You missed that in middle school It's English. hard working with people that you <laughs> generally don't like. Right. Okay? Right. And I try to be a grown-up because I'm 42 years old, three kids, a dog, <laughs> a mortgage, and a wife. I have grown so much right. as a person. Right. I'm, I'm, I'm. <laughs> I'm trying to play the role of a 42-year-old grown-up father. Right. But I don't like alphas. I don't get down with alphas. Right. Walt, Walt is an alpha, uh, alpha phi alpha fraternity. So I try to be cordial, but when he does things like he's been doing sometimes, it just really gets under my skin because <laughs> he's an alpha and he shouldn't be doing what he's doing. You, That's you, making me – you you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, but but you acting like you're still on campus, man. I know. <laughs> You got three head of churn. That's a problem. You got a little dark. Speaking of which, man, how's Nisi uh Stu? She's great, man. She's starting to oh, sleep. Yeah? She's starting to sleep through the night. Uh-huh. At, let me come clean. She's not actually sleeping through the night, but right. I've just decided that I am going to sleep through <laughs> the night. Like our grandmother used to say, let the baby cry. Right. And when she wakes she up, she ain't gonna fuss, die. She ain't gonna die. When she wakes up and fusses, uh I just act like I am still sleeping and the wife I'm, I'm three kids in, man. I don't play that no more. The baby can sleep through it, or right. the baby can 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 cry through it. She'll be fine. Right. I'm not getting up no more, man. Yeah, and and you're listening to the two last twos, Doug Stewart, Ryan Stewart, six forty WGST. I'm not gonna ride the same <laughs> ride at the fair 
three times straight on the same day. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> as well as iHeartRadio, they always say how your first child, you know, they get spoiled because you don't know. You you think they're fragile. You, you're scared to drop them, man. Uh, <laughs> My my third kid, man, when, when Kara came along, we dropped her a couple times. <laughs> Pick the baby up, wipe them off. They're all right. <laughs> the first child is always pampered yeah. because you yeah. don't know what to do. Right. And the second child, you realize yeah. that they're not going to die. Yeah. It, they, it's okay to let them cry all night long. Well, the baby's lucky because she's a girl, so she's getting some of that first-time attention. But poor right. Mason, the middle right. child, man. Yeah, he, he gets the short end of the stick constantly. Hey, man, a big week in the world of sports, man. A big weekend coming up as well. Uh, we will hit it all today on the return of the two live shoes right here on 640 WGST. We always got 10 the stew way where we talk about the 10 biggest stories in the world of hey, sports man. and entertainment. Listen, uh-huh. uh, so far to this point, a lot of great college jobs were open. Yeah. And at the end of the day, when you put all the names on the board, Miami's got the best hire in my eyes. Oh my gosh. Miami's got the best hire in my eyes, okay? <laughs> and listen, I'm a Georgia Tech Guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And a lot of people probably feel like that I was, you know, hard against Mark Rick. No, I've never been, you know, anti-Mark Rick. The, the, the whole thing was I just felt like Georgia needed a new start. Right. Mark Rick needed a new start. Oh, man. And so everybody won. We can, were just talking about this on my show this past week. Can I cut you off real quick? Yeah, go ahead. You do it all the time. All the, the corrections you wanted him to make in Athens, he's going to do that in Miami. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And he's you're listening be to the two live students. In my eyes, he's going to be better than the 15 year stint he just had up the street. Uh, we were talking about it earlier this week on my show. There was a picture of Mark Rick that I saw online. Why don't you invite me on the show more often, man. Uh, you always, well, every I time I, I call you, you never can do no, it. I don't just want to, I don't, don't want to intrude. I don't, I don't think I should have to call you and ask if I can come on the show. I think you should just really, like, invite right, me. We'll work on that. But anyway, they showed this picture. Um, the Miami Hurricanes had a basketball game. You know how they introduced a new head coach at halftime. Mm-hmm. They introduced Mark Rick, and it just dawned on me. No disrespect to Athens, but it's Athens. It's Athens. Okay, a lot of people, I think they get it twisted. That's not from Georgia. They think Athens and Atlanta are kind of like the same. No, they it's not. It's, they think it's New York no. City. It's not New York City. Mark Rick went from Athens, yes, Georgia. To Miami. To Miami. <laughs> To the bottom. Now he he played at the University of Miami. Right. But you talk about a, a well, shift in lifestyle. Let, let's say this real quick. In culture. If people stop saying he played in Miami. He didn't play a damn damn. Well, in Miami. Uh, he didn't but, play. Yes, he, he was play. on the team. Yeah. But yes, you're right. Yes, a change of culture. Hey, what for, he what he did in Athens should be able to be brought back tenfold. So in Miami. So uh, you know, uh, 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 other than going to Becky's. House of Tricks in Athens. <laughs> he, he 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 went from Becky's House of Tricks in Athens to diamonds to diamonds <laughs> and kings and queens in Miami. That's the name of that spot, right? It's called Diamonds. All right, for people that don't know, you listen to two last news, and we show. digress. It's a shoe show. There's a strip a club. Great shoe show. <laughs> there's, there's a an adult. Uh, 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 what do they call it? A gentleman's club. There's a gentleman's club it's in about Miami. The size of Super Walmart. It's a Walmart size <laughs> gentleman's club. So Mark Rick went from. From Becky's barn house and tricks in Athens to, to kings and queens. To 500 chicks on a Friday or Saturday night with shoes on. Yeah, he's winning. All right, man, we got we to gotta get out of this. We got to get out of this. And you know, Mark Rick, I, Rick don't, you know. No, you know, but, you know. But, but they get the He picture. don't go to those type places. They, they get the picture, though. Yeah, he's Miami's gonna... a different world, man. I mean, it's a big, huge, obviously Spanish uh uh, influence down there, a uh, Latino yep. influence down there. Yep. Yep. It's just a different world, it man, is, but interesting, it interesting is, man. stuff, man. But I think they're definitely winning down there. As a matter of fact, will we talk about him today in Tennis 2 No, I don't think so. Well, I'm going to talk about the guy that's replacing him. Yeah, I've got we a, are. I we got are. A, I got a comment I want everybody to think about when we talk about that guy. Yeah, Doug Stewart, Ryan Stewart, the two lives, two, 640 WGST, 10 the Stewart, as well as the Funky Four. Uh, we really can't do the Funky Four as far as college. The season's pretty much over, so we'll talk about – Four games in the world of the NFL coming up this weekend. Right. Uh, the college football season is over, but we will hit some college topics today on uh, the return of the two live stews right here on 640 WGST. Uh, what did you do this past week, sir? Uh, is your household in the Christmas spirit now? Yeah. Uh, uh, we, the tree we, up, the lights up. The trees Christmas, up, the lights music up. Music playing. Which I absolutely hate pulling out all that stuff from the basement. Do you? No, I love it. You do? I, I love it. And, and well, see, it's a process at our house. I got to go get it out the basement well, no, and drag it upstairs. See, and, and, the tree you, is heavy you, as hell. You should be ashamed. Okay. You're dragging yours from upstairs and you don't like it or from downstairs and mm-hmm, you don't like it. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to a separate 
storage unit to get my stuff and wow. bring it back. It takes two or three trips. And wow, so I'm it. actually blessed. You're blessed, and okay. I and I love it. See, it's all how you look at things, man. Yeah, you're looking at your glass half empty, right? And right. it's really half full, right? Man. You're right. You're right. So uh, yeah, I got everything up. Uh, all the decorations on the windows, little lights in the windows, little uh, garnishment on the fireplace, all that stuff's up. And Christmas doesn't turn into Christmas in my house until we start playing some Temptations Christmas. <laughs> You know that's old school. That's you, what our old man you, used to do. You and every other ninja in the country. Yeah. I mean, it ain't right until the Temptations singing all the Christmas ballads from yesteryear I, I, in the background. I, I just think I had a teaching moment with you, man, and I think you missed it, but I'm not going to go back over it. Well, what do you mean no, a it's teaching okay. moment? It's okay. I, I, no, I, I agree with you. Well, well, You're right. You have to get yeah. in your car and go get your stuff, right. and I drag yeah, mine yeah, upstairs. Yeah, yeah. I'm, a, I'm big into being thankful and grateful, man, and that just didn't sound good, man. That, that just... That was bad, no, dude. No, no, no. And, and it was a teaching moment that you missed. That's the that's the big thing. You just went on like like, yeah. It was a teaching moment you missed. Maybe oh, you... I didn't miss it. Okay, I didn't miss it. All right. As a matter of fact, thank you for that teaching moment. I need to realize right. that maybe I did. You know, it could be so much worse. Like our old man used to say, I, could... I couldn't have arms to pull up those trees up the stairs. It could be so much worse, man. Yeah. Yeah, maybe I don't have legs where I can't walk up and down the steps to bring those trees. You people have to remember to be grateful, man. <laughs> Who are you people? You just have to remember to be grateful. But wait, who's you people? Piececakeinc.com, pieceofcakeinc.com. Are you having a birthday party, a Christmas party, a holiday party at your job? That was kind you of offensive. Some, some sweets? Oh, man, they got it for you. You can order it online, piececakeinc.com. Shouts out to piececakeinc.com. All right, when we get back from the break, it's on, man. The 10 biggest stories this past week in the world of sports and entertainment. We'll hit it on 10 the Stewway. Sports talk, guy talk with hot sauce. Texas Pete hot sauce. It's the two Don't live Texas Pete. They're not paying, man. Stop it's, talking about people that ain't paying, it's, sir. It's still good, though. Still good. <laughs> Fantasy sports fans are winning huge cash prizes every day at DraftKings.com, America's favorite place to play daily fantasy sports. Daily fantasy means no season-long commitments. Play whenever you want. Just pick your sport and draft your team. It's like a new season every time you play, so you're never stuck with the same players. Last year, $300 million were won at DraftKings.com, and you could be next to win big. Go to DraftKings.com now and enter promo code STU to play for free. That's Stu for free entry now at DraftKings.com. Also, if you use promo code Stu, DraftKings will match your initial deposit up to $600. Deposit $600, play with $1,200. DraftKings.com, promo code Stu. Do you have your own radio show? Are you an artist or a DJ? BB Mobile Apps is the solution for you. They specialize in creating mobile apps for entertainers. That's right. You can have your own mobile app where your followers can hear your shows or music, watch your videos, and view all your social networks in one place. You can even make money with banner ads and send push notifications directly to your audience to make sure they get your messages. Everyone has their phones on them, right? A mobile app will add credibility to your brand because your content will be accessible to them while they're on the go. BB Mobile Apps also makes apps for bloggers, actors, and producers. The process only takes about 20 minutes. Just go to bbmobileapps.com and click Get Started Now. That's bbmobileapps.com and tell them the Doug Stewart Show sent you. This is your folk, Doug Stewart. Want to protect you and your family from life's unexpected mishaps? Then join Seven. Join Seven is a prepaid legal company under the umbrella of the Protection Group. Join Seven is the only group benefit or motor club in the U.S. that offers auto reimbursement coverage key replacement coverage, roadside assistance, gives you a current metafile, prescription savings, and fully encompassed prepaid legal benefits that include identity theft. They got your back. The average combined cost to purchase these benefits individually is over $850 a year. Join today and take advantage of all seven for $17 a month. They've been around for over 20 years, so check them out by clicking on the banner link on my page, thedougstoreshow.com, or the app. Just go ahead and join seven.
Welcome back to the return of the two live Stu's Doug Stewart, Ron Stewart. Saturday morning. 640 WGSC. Shouts out to all of the Stewies. Saturday mornings are a, a, a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, for, for people of all ages. You better believe it. Hey, man, uh, would you like to advertise with the Two Lives Twos or the Doug Stewart Show? Oh, you didn't know about the Doug Stewart Show? It comes on Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Time online. All you got to do is search thedougstewartshow.com. If you'd like to advertise with your boys, the Two Lives Twos, or once again, the Doug Stewart Show, email me at doug at the Doug Stewart Show. Dot com. I think big bowls of crunch berries with milk. I think cartoons. I think Smurfs. I think yeah, yeah. Scooby Doo. I, I mean, I go. I go back to a good place when I think of Saturday morning. Do your boys know who the Smurfs are? Yes, they do. The Smurfs probably was the biggest thing. It's crazy man. hitting when we were kids. The little blue people. I remember when the Smurfs came first came on the scene. I mean, they were kind of like a big deal. Really, a big deal. Uh, okay, we got to get into. I mean, we had Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo was real big, but then the Smurfs was kind of like new age. They were kind of like we were a little bit older as far as kids. We weren't like five or six. We was like seven, eight, and nine. We gotta get the ten to do it, man. <laughs> but but I'm gonna share something with you that might be embarrassing to the average man. But I'm not the average man. Okay. Uh, my first experience of let's just say uh, yeah, this this doesn't sound good. Let's just say my first experience of of, of this this isn't this of, doesn't sound like it's gonna be good. Of um of being a, a, in a, a, a of being, you, my yes, they have multiple. Right. My first experience of really of being aroused, man, was to Smurf it, to make me shoot another load. You shouldn't have played that. You shouldn't have done that, Walter. See, now that that's what that's what puts it on the line. <laughs> did you just say yeah, that? See, that's what that, that, that you did that. Did you yeah. did did you just say as a kid you partake in cartoon porn, man? You were fantasizing about Smurf it? Ooh. You you took a real beautiful, yeah. fragile, gentle thing from our childhood and turned it into kitty porn, man? Huh? Tend to stew in with the two last dudes on a Saturday morning, man. Walter made that go off the track, not me. The Falcons, Doug, they lose again. I'm not surprised. I mean, I'm sure you're not either. Yeah. It's like, you know, a regular old Groundhog Day. Surprise, surprise, your boy Matt Ryan throws another pick at the end of a game to just <sighs> devour the hopes of many. They got the Panthers this week. Of course, the Panthers are undefeated. I want your thoughts, sir, about Matt Ryan moving forward with this organization. You know what? When that when he threw that pick at the end of the game, man, when he threw that pick, all that started running through my mind is how can we get under the deal with this kid? <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm serious. Yeah. I mean, have you been thinking that over the last couple of weeks? Like, we just gave no. him over a $100 million contract. The city loves him. Arthur Blank clearly loves him. I haven't. The organization clearly loves him. But Matt Ryan clearly has lost something in the offseason. Right. Uh, he's not been the greatest quarterback. He's been very, very solid. I always tell people that. But now I'm starting to think towards the future. Okay. And I'm thinking about Cam Newton and how great he is. We'll talk about him in a second. But I've been thinking about Cam Newton and how he's probably got eight, nine, think, ten more years. Think, think, think about His James upside. Too. Think about Jameis, too. Jameis Winston, yeah, about James too. you know, we talked about the changing of the guard. Yep. I really started playing off in my mind, how can we get out of this contract with Matt Ryan? Uh, That's how bad it's become over the last couple of weeks. $103 million. There's $42 million guaranteed. He got $28 million to sign. You're not getting rid of Matt Ryan. He's not going anywhere. And at the end of the day, ignore this year. you got to find a way to ignore this year. It's just one year. And it's the only bad year the guy's had. He was deserving of the money, Doug. He was deserving of it. Yeah. So it's a bad year, and everybody's jumping ship right now. Let me remind you, 08 through 2012, okay? 11 wins, 9 wins, 13 wins, 10 wins, 13 wins. Remember, we don't care about wins. 08. That was seven years but ago. That's his body of work, though. That's his body of work. His body of work exemplifies a quarterback that was worthy of 103. It's yeah. okay. Yeah. It's and okay. I, I mean, I'm not the only one thinking this, man. You should have seen my timeline on social media. I mean, people are fed up with what they've seen on the field from Matt Ryan over the last couple of weeks. Yep, it's bad. Speaking of the Panthers, man, they come from behind and beat the Saints and are now 12-0. and 0. Oh, My Lord. This has happened nine times before in the NFL. Six of those times, teams that made it, those teams made it to the Super Bowl, and four of them won it. Should we give Cam the MVP and the Panthers the ring right now? I did this last week. I apologize again because I told you several reasons why. Cam was not going to get it five weeks ago. Yeah. I digress. <laughs> and you're listening I, to I, the two live I, dudes. I, I, I digress, sir. 
uh, give him the award right now. And when it comes to the Panthers possibly going undefeated, I'm starting to throw my hat in that bag too. They got the Falcons twice. So if you think about their schedule by himself, they got the Falcons twice, the Giants, and the Bucks. Those teams together are combined 17, 19 records. They're not playing good football, and the Panthers are. Yeah, the only way they don't, you know, like uh, clinch the, the NFC um, or they don't go undefeated is if they set their starters for the last two games. They can clinch after week 14 or their 14th game, home field advantage. So depending on the mindset of the organization or whether they sit their starters for the last two games, I don't know. They should go undefeated. I agree. And Cam Newton right now, man, he is playing fantastic. His level of quarterback play has gone up so much this year as far as accuracy and breaking down quarterbacks, looking off defensive backs. It's incredible. He's thrown 10 TDs in the last three games. He's only been sacked seven times this season. He's too big to get sacked. He's too big to get sacked, It's kind of scary, man, looking at how many more years this guy has. In the open, I mentioned talking about Kirby Smart, man. He, of course, was introduced as the head coach of the Georgia Bulldogs. What do you think about what he had to say at his press conference, sir? You know, I, I take a lot of stuff that, that Kat said at their press conference, you know, kind of with a grain of salt because it's just that, a press conference. It does sound like he has all the tools, obviously well-respected in the industry, has been under some great coaches, obviously under Nick Saban for many, many years. I think like nine years he's been under Coach Saban. That's really all you can go on, man. Said all the right things. Didn't say anything wrong. That's the big thing at the press conference. I heard it live on the radio. And so, man, I, I, I think Georgia's got a, a winner. I do. I think they've got a winner. Time will tell, but I think that Kirby Smart is the right guy for the job. I am in touch with my emotional side as a grown man. But I don't think the head coach of Georgia in his first press conference being named the head coach should cry. <laughs> The man was emotional. He and met his that. wife there. I get that. His wife was an athlete I, I there at the University of Georgia. I get that. Huh? He was a DB. The guy's happy to I, be I, back home. I, I get that. No, I don't. I, I, he shouldn't have cried? That's just me. That's just me. That's just me. That's just me. That's it. That's just me. Yeah, I don't want my head coach that's about to lead my men into battle every Saturday crying in his first press conference. You're listening to the two last two's Doug Stewart, Ryan Stewart, 640 WGST. I'm, I'm Question petty. number four in 10, the Stewart. The playoffs are set in college football. Uh, number one, Clemson, plays number four, Oklahoma. And number two, Alabama, plays uh, number three, Michigan State. Oklahoma is favored to win it all by the numbers, sir. Do you agree or disagree with this? Um, I'm going to go Alabama until the day I die with what this team has done and what this team has done the last decade in college football. I would not put anybody. I think that there's three teams that could really win. That's Oklahoma, that's Clemson, and that's Alabama. But I would always put my money on Nick Saban in Alabama. So you're not buying Michigan State? No, not at all. I, I kind of feel the same way that you do. Um, I feel like that Alabama is the best team on the field. But you got to remember one thing about Alabama is they've kind of struggled over the last couple of years with teams that run that spread offense. Mm -hmm. There's probably nobody that runs it better than Deshaun Watson at Clemson. I think Clemson has an opportunity to beat them. But if I had to bet right now, I do think Alabama's the best team in the Final Four, in the playoffs. Bama, they got my man Henry. Stanford's got McCaffrey. Watson from Clemson, Heisman finalist. We know who they are. There's only three guys that's going. Will Henry win it? Most experts believe that, sir. I'm asking you. Will there be a surprise winner? There won't be a surprise winner. No, sir, there will not. And if you look at Christian McCaffrey's numbers for Stanford, man, they're incredible. Obviously, he passed Barry Sanders for all-purpose yards in a season. Um, but you can kind of tell the way this media thing works, the way the wind is blowing. Everybody's talking about what Derrick Henry did down in Alabama this year, passing the all-times yards mark in a season in the SEC, passing Herschel Walker. Derrick Henry's going to win it hands down. A rush for 200 yards in four games, 46 carries versus Auburn, 44 carries versus Florida, 339 carries overall, almost two grand. Come on, sir, it's his. Do you think he's going to be a good pro, though? I do not. I don't either. I do not. I think Leonard Fournette's going to be the best pro. Devin Cook will probably be the next best pro. I think that Derrick Henry's going to get chopped down. He runs too high. He doesn't have a lot of wiggle. He doesn't have a he doesn't have a burst. An yeah. Initial burst. Yeah. Once he gets going downhill, it's fine. But he's going to get met at the line and not get a chance to get going downhill. Yeah. Yeah. All right. When we get back from the break, man, the second half of Tim the Stewway yeah, yeah. with your boys, the two live Stews. Come on. And um, we're going to do what man, we do, baby. God is good. Man. Waterhead bobbing his head over there. I wish he would stop. Huh? Make me sick. Don't go away. Do you have your own radio show? 
Are you an artist or a DJ? BB Mobile Apps is the solution for you. They specialize in creating mobile apps for entertainers. That's right. You can have your own mobile app where your followers can hear your shows or music, watch your videos, and view all your social networks in one place. You can even make money with banner ads and send push notifications directly to your audience to make sure they get your messages. Everyone has their phones on them, right? A mobile app will add credibility to your brand because your content will be accessible to them while they're on the go. BV Mobile Apps also makes apps for bloggers, actors, and producers. The process only takes about 20 minutes. Just go to bvmobileapps.com and click Get Started Now. That's bvmobileapps.com and tell them the Doug Stewart Show sent you. At Ticket Liquidator, we believe you should have access to the experiences you want to be a part of. Since 2003, Ticket Liquidator has been connecting buyers and sellers with the most sought after and often sold out events across the country. Ticket Liquidator's nationwide network is you access to one of the largest online inventories of sports, theater, and concert tickets with prices lower than most companies in other markets. And our security policies are solid, so you can buy with absolute confidence. More tickets, better service, and lower prices, so you can witness the best entertainment, culture, and sports events worldwide. At Ticket Liquidator, we know that seeing a legend bring down the house or watching your team win the championship is about more than a ticket. It's about being there. For all your sports and entertainment ticket needs, Call us at 855-638-3034. Again, that's 855-638-3034. National Debt Relief is one of the country's largest and most reputable debt settlement companies. Made up of energetic individuals who are passionate about helping thousands of Americans with debt relief. Most importantly, we're all about helping our customers through a tough financial time in their lives with education and individual customer service. We're dedicated to helping individuals and families rid their lives of burdensome debt. Specializing in debt settlement, and they've also negotiated settlements for thousands of creditor and collection accounts. Providing clients with both expertise and proven results, this means helping customers in time of hardship to get out of debt with the least possible cost. It can also mean conducting financial consultations, educating the customer, and recommending the appropriate solution. Core Services offer debt settlement as an alternative, I repeat, alternative to bankruptcy, credit counseling, and debt consolidation. National Debt Relief is your number one advocate group to help you reestablish financial stability as quickly as possible. So give us a call at 844-828-4975. Again, that's 844-828-4975 and work it out. The world's heavyweight champions of sports and guy talk radio, the two live stews. I get really aggressive thoughts when I hear this song right here, man. Tight track. You ain't got no haters, you ain't popping. 640 WGST as well as iHeartRadio. I found out. Stupendous Saturday to you, Stewies. A few years ago that I've got nerve damage in my neck and my shoulder. L3, L4, and L5 of my lower spine is slammed together. Uh, I've got. That doesn't sound good. Yeah, I got a lot of stuff. I really going don't on. know what you're talking about. Oh. I'm not that it's, technical. It's, it's serious. But well, it doesn't sound that good. But I started researching CBD oil, and my folks at HalcyonOrganics.com gave me a lot of information on it, and uh, I'm using it, and it's making my body feel better. I'm telling you the truth. Check it out for yourself. HalcyonOrganics.com. Second half of 10 the stew a. Second half of 10 the stew a. <laughs> you need to wake up, man. It's Saturday morning. It's early Saturday morning, but you need to wake up, man. Hey, man. This Stop kinda... doing the stuff you do on Friday nights and just going to come in here and affect your job on Saturday, man. This is kind of near and dear to our heart, man, being from the great state of South Kakalaki. Will Muschamp, man, is now the new head coach of the Carolina Gamecocks. Simple question, man. Do you like the hire, yes or no? Terrible hire, I think. <laughs> well, tell us how you really feel, son. I think coming off of Lou Holtz coming off of Steve Spurrier, that this is a terrible hire. It's definitely a downgrade in brain. Um, let's just do this real quick. I'm not going to take long on this question. This season, as the coordinator of Auburn, right. they gave up 20 to Jacksonville State, 45 to LSU, 54 <laughs> to Arkansas, 34 <laughs> to Idaho. Oh, right, yeah. Right. Uh, a stint of 2011 to 2014 in Florida with a 
team that has some of the best talent you've ever seen assembled in college football. He went 28 and 21. Uh, this is not a special hire. This is bad. I'm done. You know what? You basically summed up everything that yeah, I had to I'm, say about I'm this. Done. Is what about Will Muschamp and what he did at the University of Florida and how they had to run him out of there? Um, being so hyped up coming from Texas, getting the head coaching job at the University of Florida. What about what he did at that job? What about what he did at the University of Auburn as a defensive coordinator should allow him to receive another head coaching job in the SEC so quickly when cats have been coordinators for their entire lives, 20, 30 years as coordinators? What did Will Muschamp say in these interviews to get this job? Other than Jimbo Fisher and Mark D'Antoni in Michigan State, the disciples of Nick Saban have not done good. And Muschamp is one of them. All right, he's one of them. LeBron James, man, this dude signs a lifetime deal with Nike, allegedly for a half of a billion dollars. $500 million. <laughs> Claude, have mercy. There's a Lord. There's, there's, there's a, there is God, a God. There's a God. Sir, give me your, your reaction to that, man. I'm happy for that, young man. You know, for many, many years, <laughs> for many, many years, I was down on LeBron James. Um, but he's kind of come back and made things right going back to Cleveland. And he's always talked about doing things in the community and having a bigger purpose in Akron, Ohio, yep, yep. in the state of Cleveland, oh, in the state of God. Ohio as well. Right. And a half a billion dollars is going to go a long, a long way, way, man, to help, helping him. A lot of people in that area. Man. Prior to getting this half a billion, sir, he already vowed to pay for like a thousand kids' college education out of his own pocket. So if Nike's giving this guy half a billion, half a billion. how much do you think they anticipate they're going to make off of him and his brand? Oh, uh, three times that. Three times that. Easily! Easy. It's a business move. And I love it when I see these young cats get the money and a lot of people look at them you know, with angst, you know, oh, my gosh, he's getting all this money. He's not worth all of that. He's hey, worth exactly what they want to give him. 30 years old, the company's been in existence 44 years, and it's their first time doing a lifetime contract. First time? That's, that's, that's I mean, LeBron is special, man. So let me ask you this. He's special. And, and you're listening to the two live students. The guy is special, man. Uh, if LeBron James, at mm. this point in his career, I, because I, pretty much LeBron's career is going downhill, I right? I know where this is going. LeBron James gets half a billion dollars. Right. When Steph Curry is up for his next deal, and right. he's with Under Armour, right. how much are they going to have to pay him? A billion. You really believe that? You're I not mean, just saying that trying to be funny. And if I had to start a team right now, I'm still taking LeBron. But what Steph Curry is doing. Wait, when you factor in age and everything, you're still going to take LeBron? I still think LeBron's got five or, five or six good years. Steph got ten, though. Yeah, he got ten. But LeBron's body does more. Steph's going to be worth a billion, man. He's incredible. Wow, wow. He's incredible. He's absolutely incredible. You're listening to the two live shoes on 640 WGST. And um, DeMarco Murray and Adrian Peterson put their coaches on blast. Murray went crying to the boss about carries, and Peterson put blame on Mike Zimmer for the loss. Herm Edwards went crazy on ESPN saying the players are out of line. Sir, listen to this. No, I don't want to coach this because this ain't professional football, man. It ain't about you. It's not about you anymore. It's true. The players think it's all about them. Exactly, but that's the It ain't about them. It's it's about the game of football, man. What say you about Herm Edwards going ham? Uh, I get Herm going ham and everything Herm said is right. But this is business, and there are certain players that have a voice and have the ability to get the ear of the head coach and the owner. And unfortunately, this past week, Two of those players decided that they were going to get sensitive into, into their feelings. Charles Woodson, safety for the Dallas Cowboys yep. back in the day. They went to the, all of those Super Bowls, man. Very good player. He was on set with Herm when they had this little conversation going back and forth. And he was exactly right, man. This is 2015. This isn't when Herm not, Edwards. Not, not Charles Woodson. Uh, Darren. Darren Woodson. Okay, I'm sorry. Right, I'm okay, sorry. Okay. Darren Woodson. Yes. That's right. Yeah. Charles Woodson still plays still right playing, now. Right. Uh, but Darren Woodson said that this is 2015. These players are different. Yeah, it's different. Okay. This is a different day and time. There's, Social media. These cats are more uh, boisterous and, with, with their and, comments and, and their thoughts. And honestly, the same thing happened back in the day, but we weren't privy to the information. Right. Um, there's one or two players on each team that have the ability to talk to the owner about their situation. Yeah. And these two guys are, in the past, those players typically weren't 
sensitive like these two guys are. Right. That's all this is. But do you like the direction of, I guess, players being more outspoken in football today? Kind of what Herm was talking about. No, that had him so mad. And I, a lot of times I think I, Herm just be playing up for the I, cameras, I man. Think, I think a, a, a team filled with players that do not act like this would be more apt to win. I, okay, I, okay, I, I, okay. I believe that the team concept. Sometimes it's not right, but sometimes you got to eat it because that's your role in this formula for success for this team. And these two guys, they, they, they just don't have that. Your boy Des Bryant and Kevin Johnson, they want to be put on the committee with Roger Goodell to maybe finally figure out what a real catch is. What's your thoughts on this, man? Um, it's very simple, man. They've oversimplified this thing, man. A catch is just that, a catch. I think they should take all the other stuff. <laughs> you got to make a motion. You got to put two feet on the ground, this, that, and the other. To going back to old school, a catch is a catch. If they clutch the ball and possess the ball for more than a second, for a second right. or more, right. it's a catch. Anything that happens after that, if you hit the ground and the ball and the ball comes out, the ground can't cause a fumble. That's the way it used to be. If you cross the plane and the goal line with the ball in your possession, that's a catch. I got pages of notes over here, man. Simplify it. And for this question, all I wrote down was, it's not that hard. It's not that hard. I, I, when did it get confusing? When did a catch stop being a freaking catch? The Des Bryant catch was a catch. The Kevin Johnson catch was a catch. When did those catches stop being catches? I have no clue, but you're exactly right. So if you catch the ball, if you clutch the ball with both your hands on it for more than a second, you get hit and the ball comes out, that should be a fumble. <laughs> you have possession. It, wait, isn't, it, isn't that the way it used to be? You have possession this, of this the ball. This wasn't the case, the well, way they're doing it now over the last couple of years. Listen, This wasn't like this in the okay, 1980s no. or the 90s. In my eyes, it's always been you have to get two steps. Two. I don't even think you need that. Okay. Well, yeah, it's always been two. You gotta establish position by getting two steps. But in. what do your feet have to do with your hands well, catching the ball? The same thing. Your feet don't catch the ball. No, the your hands catch the ball. It's a catch after a second. But okay. if you maintain possession where the ball is secure in your hands, putting, it should be a catch. Putting the exclamation point on the sentence is putting two feet on the ground with said ball. That's so you you agree with me after I, after I went you know tried to prove my case? Yes. Huh? Yes. Two feet on the ground is the exclamation mark. Ryan, a lot of talk this week about concussions. Dr. Bennett Omalu, the inspiration for the movie Concussion coming out in a few weeks, says kids should not play contact football until they reach the age of 18. You're on the record saying you won't let your boys play while they are young. What say you on this? They're not going to play while they're young. I got them entrenched in soccer and karate and basketball and stuff right now. Baseball, Baseball everything. Baseball, everything except for football. Yeah. And I'm going to fight them because they're going to want to play one day. Yeah. And they're, I mean, they're little athletes. They're, they're incredible athletes. And they're probably going to be great players one day. But it will not be until the last minute that they get out there. I'm thinking 14 or 15. How uh, excited are you to see this movie? Have you seen it yet? They've already had a screening with a lot of former was, NFL players. I was out of town when that one went down. Okay. I'll be at the next one. I'm going to watch this movie, but I already know what it's about because I know the story. Yeah. I, I've, I've already done the research. I, I, mean, it I, looks, I know what it's all about. It looks good. Will Smith has already been nominated for his uh, his portrayal of the doctor in this movie. I can't wait to see it coming up in a couple of weeks here around Christmas. Yeah, yeah. All right, when we get back from the break, man, we're going to talk about the four biggest games coming up this weekend in the NFL. Just in the Funky Four. Shouts out to 20 Grand, 20 Grand Vodka.com. Does. Shouts out to 20 Grand. Good stuff. I mean, real good stuff. Real good. All right, sports talk for the people. Don't go away. The two live students. <laughs> At Ticket Liquidator, we believe you should have access to the experiences you want to be a part of. Since 2003, Ticket Liquidator has been connecting buyers and sellers with the most sought after and often sold out events across the country. Ticket Liquidator's nationwide network is you access to one of the largest online inventories of sports, theater, and concert tickets with prices lower than most companies in other markets. And our security policies are solid, so you can buy with absolute confidence. More tickets, better service, and lower prices, so you can witness the best entertainment, culture, and sports events worldwide. At Ticket Liquidator, we know that seeing a legend bring down the house or watching your team win the championship is about more than a ticket. It's about being there. 
for all your sports and entertainment ticket needs. Call us at 855-638-3034. Again, that's 855-638-3034. Fantasy sports fans are winning huge cash prizes every day at DraftKings.com, America's favorite place to play daily fantasy sports. Daily fantasy means no season-long commitments. Play whenever you want. Just pick your sport and draft your team. It's like a new season every time you play, so you're never stuck with the same players. Last year, $300 million were won at DraftKings.com, and you could be next to win big. Go to DraftKings.com now and enter promo code STU to play for free. That's Stu for free entry now at DraftKings.com. Also, if you use promo code Stu, DraftKings will match your initial deposit up to $600. Deposit $600, play with $1,200. DraftKings.com, promo code Stu. This is your folk, Doug Stewart. Want to protect you and your family from life's unexpected mishaps? Then join 7. Join 7 is a prepaid legal company under the umbrella of the Protection Group. Join 7 is the only group benefit or motor club in the U.S. that offers auto reimbursement coverage, key replacement coverage, roadside assistance, gives you a current metafile, prescription savings, and fully encompassed prepaid legal benefits that include identity theft. They got you back. The average combined cost to purchase these benefits individually is over $850 a year. Join today and take advantage of all seven for $17 a month. They've been around for over 20 years, so check them out by clicking on the banner link on my page, the DougStewartShow.com, or the app. Just go ahead and join seven. In a constant battle against weak, lame sports and guy talk, the return of the two live shoes, Doug Stewart, Ryan Stewart, 640 WGST. The old stews would have said, constant battle against weak ass sports talk. <laughs> Not the new stews, though. I mean, come on, man. I mean, we're on 640 WGST. This is a family station, sir. Not the new stews. This is a family station. <clears throat> Thank you so much there. for joining your boys, man. Shout out to my man, Bruce Hagen. Hagen law.com. He's spelling Hagen. H A G A N dash law dot com. Eleven time super lawyer in the state of Georgia, man. So do they like give him one of those Superman shirts? <laughs> like with 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 the with the S on the front? You know, that's what you get as being a super lawyer? You would think. Huh? You would think. That says a lot to say you're a super lawyer. How now, many times did he win it? Eleven in a row. Wow. Yeah, he's the real deal, man. All right, so Hagen dash law dot com. All right, so um, you know, college football is over. The season is over, uh, pretty much, until he you know, go through the bowls and they do the the uh, playoffs with the final four teams. Well, we still got NFL, man. A couple of important weeks left in the See, season. You should already play it, Buckethead. You should already play it. Come on, He Walter. set you up for like 30 seconds, man. Feel the show, Buckethead. Pay attention to what's going on and feel the show. That man's name is not Buckethead. What is it? His name is Waterhead. Well, how did I miss that? Buckethead, Keghead, that's not his name. Okay, might have misunderstood it. All right, so the Funky Four, man, the four biggest games, or the four games that we're looking most forward to this weekend in the world of the NFL. Uh, who are you looking most forward to, sir? This Falcons-Carolina game is the game that's at the top of my radar. The Falcons are now 6-6. Six and six. They done lost like five games straight. It is embarrassing what's going on. They still control their own fate. If they win all their games, they need a tad bit of help, but... I don't think there's no way in the world they're going to stop Cam Newton from doing what Cam Newton does. Okay. I, I just don't, man. And and I am impressed with the Panther think, team. I think I might try to go to that game. As, if you can, it's going to be good. Yeah, I think I might try to go to Carolina, man, for if, that game. If, if you road tripping with some people or what? what yeah, what, with some people. You want to roll? I got to go out of town I got tomorrow. people yeah. tailgating. You know? I'll, I'll get back to you on that. Okay. But that's the game I'm looking forward to, man. Uh, I want to see the Falcons can stop Cam being Cam. I don't think they can. Um, I am looking for the Pittsburgh Steelers on the road taking on the Cincinnati Bengals. Bengals 10-2, and two, Steelers 7-5, and five, uh, an important AFC North division game. Uh, Steelers can make some way if they were to get a win on the road. Bengals favored in this game, plus three points or minus three points as far as the Cincinnati Bengals. Uh, the Arizona Cardinals won this past Thursday night, so they're pretty much locking things up in the NFC, except for the Carolina Panthers. 
I really think the Bengals now, seeing that the New England Patriots have come back a couple of games, uh, I think the Bengals are going to be one of those teams, man, that's going to buy for a Super Bowl this year. So I'm looking forward to a tough AFC North matchup between the Steelers and the Cincinnati Bengals. What about you? We talked about two crybabies earlier, man. Um, I'm, I'm on the I'm on the Bengals. I, I don't think the Bengals have the problem that the teams we're talking about are having. Right. The crybabies, I think they all got leaders. I think they're, they're deep in every position. I, I like what the Bengals are doing. I really do. I'm a believer. Right. I'm a believer. Uh, this crybaby situation I was alluding to just now. Right. Buffalo and Philadelphia. Right. Um, I want to see what Shady McCoy is going to do, man. I think players should just kind of keep their mouth shut, especially players of that magnitude. This whole Chip Kelly situation. It really hurt on. him. It seemed like it really hurt him when they got rid of him. But, and Chip Kelly has come out and said that it wasn't handled right. He's kind of acknowledged well, that. But McCoy should be somewhat embarrassed about how he's behaved, man. I and I, I understand you're, you're upset and you're sad and you're mad, man, about how you were treated, man, but you can't. He's you, almost taking it too far. I agree with you. Just You'd be better off saying nothing. And just playing football, man. Six and six Bills on the road taking on the Philadelphia Eagles at the link. Um, so that's one game you're looking forward to as well. I like that one as well. And the last game, man, that uh, we're going to hit here in the funky four to four biggest games this weekend in the world of the NFL. The New Orleans Saints, it's not really that big. It's the well, Saints. It's the, NFC the Saints South, are right. back to life, back right. to reality. Right. But just for the fact that it's the NFC South, I'm looking forward to seeing what the Saints are going to do, man, if they can put up any type of battle against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, who are 6-6 six and six right now. Tampa Bay trying to put themselves in position, man, to possibly get into the playoffs with a wild card. Jameis Winston's first year as head, uh, as the quarterback of the uh, of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. You saw what he did last week. I don't know if we even talked about it that much. The big run, the crucial run that he had on third down. We didn't talk about 19 it. yards against the Falcons. Right. What was that all about? This shouldn't happen. And you know Jameis isn't the greatest athlete in the world. No, it was, so he's shown a lot of moxie, man. I'm looking forward to seeing if he continues his good play of late. It was terrible effort by the Falcons defense. Yeah. And uh, this game. You, if you looked at the replay. It was kind of, you could see the Falcons players jogging around. Now, I think it's that the terrible. reason they did that is because he's a quarterback. Right. And they already no. put in the minds of defensive no. players. You can't touch the no. quarterback. No. They thought the play was dead. In that situation, you need to be trying to get to him to tear his head off, man. I like, agree. Yeah, you got to try to tear his head off. Uh, big game for Jameis because it's against Drew Brees also. And I keep talking about the changing of the guard. Right. From Cam and, and Jameis from... Well, Drew Brees and Matt Ryan, Ryan yeah, mean, which has been really, really tough. Huge game, man. Yeah. All right, man. I'm, I'm looking forward to it, man. It should be a good weekend. Yeah, but another uh, great weekend in the world of the NFL. There you have it, the Funky Four with the two live stews. Uh, Shouts out to my man, C. Black. I'm about to get on the road and go to his uh, father's passing, man, his home going celebration. Uh, it's crazy, man. He's burying his father mm -hmm. on his birthday. Wow. So I'm like, the rest of your life, man, you know, you're going to have to deal with it. He's like, yeah, I think it's great, man. It's a great reminder, man. Wow. Yeah, it's wow. a great reminder. Yeah, man. Condolences uh, to his family. Good friend of ours, a fraternity brother, good dude, man, and uh, lost his pops this past week. Um, and so, yeah, going home for that. Yeah. Um, one thing I wanted to mention to you before we get out of here, man, is on social media, you posted a couple of videos of my nephews. Mm-hmm. Being Ninja Warriors? Yes. You got to tell me about this facility. They got like a facility here in Atlanta where you took the boys to where they kind of mimicked and, and what they do at this facility is they mimic the TV show American Ninja Warriors. It, it, it's incredible. My man. nephews are ninjas they, literally and figuratively. They were doing. <laughs> they, they look good out there. They were doing things that eight and nine year olds couldn't do. They're four and five. Yeah, and, and more than anything, man, like the ramp, the ramp was impossible for Mason to get up. Miles got it his first try. It was impossible for Mason to get up, but he kept on going and kept on going and kept on going until somebody stuck their hand out, and he jumped and grabbed their hand and pulled himself up the wall with that one hand. I mean, when I was watching that video, I kept saying to myself, man, I think I can do this. <laughs> like, 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 can we go out there? Do they let adults do that, or is that just set up for They've kids? They've got an adult course right beside that one where the kids' one is. It's a great place, man. It's called um, Slingshot. And I, I typically don't talk about places that's not paying, man. <laughs> right. But it's called Slingshot, They man. need to holler at us. Uh, it's about the size of a super Walmart, and there's racetracks in there. The cars go 40 miles per hour. There's bowling. There's those uh, those courses. It's mm -hmm. an incredible place, man. Um, I pulled my hamstring four years ago. <laughs> still feel it. And I still feel it. <laughs> it's a problem. And when I heard it, and you remember I heard it at your house. You I'll never forget it. At your son's birthday party, Miles. You didn't pull it. You tore it. Man. I, kicked, I kicked at your dog, yep. Sparky. That's what you get. And I pulled something, not just in my hamstring, but in my glute. 
And it's just a reminder. My mother, when I did it, my mother was like, you know that's never going to heal, right? <laughs> Our mother said that. And I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> and it wasn't four years ago. It's probably like five or six now because we were still working. You, you, just told the, you just told the American people that you kicked at a dog, man. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, because he it's a long story. <laughs> you know what? No, but, but you're, you're done. You're but, done. But your dog, man, is aggravating as hell. Yep. I didn't mean to hurt him or anything like that. I wasn't going to hurt him. Just, I just wanted to get him off of me. Right. You know, you got one of those. What kind of dog is he? He's a Jack Russell Terrier. And if you know anything about Jack Russell Terriers and you're listening to the two last twos, they're aggravating as hell. When you kicked at him, I said, you are never going to forget about that. I felt like Pops on Friday. <laughs> I grab a dog and I, and I – <laughs> better not say that. Better not say that. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I saw the man. I thought that was great stuff. I thought that was great stuff. The, you're the, going to check out Creed um, at some point soon. Yeah. You haven't seen it yet. I have not seen it yet, but I, I've got to get there. So I saw it. I don't know if I talked about the, it last week. Did I talk about it last don't week? Don't get away. We'll talk about it next well, week. Well, I'm not going to give you any details, okay. but I thought it was pretty good. Um, I can say this, and it won't spoil it. I mean, it's kind of going to spoil it, but it's not going to spoil it. <laughs> don't, don't, don't say it, man. Well, I was going to say it's just it's just very cliche-ish. I mean, it's Rocky. Yeah. It's yeah. Rocky. Yeah. You just spoiled it, man. No, I didn't spoil I don't it. Need to go see it. I mean, man. they've got a couple little twists uh, in it. Go, but just go ahead and tell me. Everybody just, just listen and turn your radios down. Go ahead and tell me, man. You might you might as go ahead and tell me. He he wins the fight. <laughs> <laughs> I also uh, I also watched the uh, season finale of Scream Queens. <laughs> Great TV show. <laughs> I mean, that's a fantastic TV show. And man, you heard about these hoverboards I have. on the commercial here in the studio? They're lighting up. They turn. They're catching fire. <laughs> they're selling like hotcakes, but they are catching fires now. Airlines are not allowing them on the planes because they're scared they're gonna just bust out in flames. Light up. Multiply combust. Wow, this year's Cabbage Patch Doll. Thank hey, you, man. Thank, you show. Thank you, Thank you, Waterhead. Thank you, Doug. Great job, man. Thank you, everybody, for listening. We do appreciate it, man. Thank the good folks at WGST 640 AM. Yes, sir. Uh, we'll be back next Saturday morning. We'll do the same thing at the same damn time, same damn stews, and uh, love God, love each other, man. Peace. Tis a Rolo, never be a brother like me, go solo. Laser Anastasia Major, ways to blaze your brain and train you. The way I'm living, forgiving.